Alright, I got a new buffer tank. So my brother's just washing his bike right now. Trying to let it drain. So, here it is. Bike right here because of the motor, but. Um. <laughs> Uh, I got an out right here. I get you got this on Home Depot. I forgot what it's called, but it's I think it's three eight. No, I don't. Know. It's something three quarters of an inch. That's what it is. So I got that going to a hose, going down there, and then going up. There's a pressure washer right here, and of course I got my pressure line. It's going out over there. Keep pressure washing. Alright, got a loader valve going in here and all the way up inside the buffer tank. Which is just a 55 gallon drum. So, and right now it's it's full because I wanted to test it out because I just now put it on. I got this regular garden hose with nothing on it going from my wheel all the way up into here. Looking here. I don't know if you can see that, but you know, got water up in there. So. Right, so I got water up in there. I wish I had another cab and I would drill it like I'd probably put it like right here and right here but it don't really need and I do not have a Hudson valve on it because it was like 40 bucks so I was like I'm just gonna get it over and see how long 55 gallon lasts with a full gallon per minute which it's probably gonna be a while so it's a push washer and I got the ball valve right here which my dad put that on like 15 years ago so that's where it's at it's kind of dumb on why he didn't put it on the wand but it does leak a little bit right here but I tried tighten it and it didn't work so but it's fine that's my old pressure washer right there still works I probably only use that for house uh, not house washes but if I need an extra person wanted behind me so that's it 55 gallon drum buffer tank it's nice if I can, might do a job today Use some sales. Bye.